If you want an explanation on how these machines actually work, I'll give it to you a little bit further in the video. But for those trying to just build them and get out, I'll do that right here. So, for the honeycomb machine, you're going to need these materials. You also will need a 3x1 space. Uh, right here, you're going to place your barrel. On the other side, you're going to place your hopper. Then you're going to get yourself a scrap block just to build up a bit. You don't need to use iron blocks, obviously. That won't mean much. Uh, hive there, first of all, actually. Then you're going to want to look down and place an observer like this. Make sure the observer is looking into the beehive, okay? Without it, it won't work. Next, you're going to want to put an observer facing up. And dispenser here. Break all of these. And two redstone right here. Actually, make sure your uh, dispenser is facing the right way into the beehive. That would make it work very well. And finally, place your shears right there. So, that's the automatic honeycomb farm. To build the automatic honey bottle farm, you're going to need these materials here. And as well as a 3x5 space. Take all of these. So, first what you wanna, uh, you're going to want to do is place your barrel right there. Yep, I knew that. Beehive on top. Hopper here, and one block right there, put your nice little comparator, block here, block there, and I need redstone, I have redstone, there we go. So make sure, so you do have a dropper and a dispenser, okay? Very important that you put your dropper here, and your dispenser here. Now once that's done, I throw your bottles in here, that's how you um, bottle the honey. Need, uh, then you're going to want to build this out, break that block there, grab yourself a redstone torch, put a piece of redstone, make sure it's uh, doing like the little X pattern or else this will not work, block right there, uh, repeater, block, repeater, and redstone, bang, 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 and there's how you make an automatic honey bottling farm. Now all you need is some bees. Hey, and welcome to the part of the video where I explain how these things actually work. We'll start with the honeycomb machine. So, if you use a redstone source on a dispenser that has shears on it, and it is facing towards a beehive full of honey, it will make honeycombs. Now, when the honeycombs are sheared, they will um, pop out of here, get caught, and go into this barrel. Now, the way this actually detects it is with observers. Anytime a bee goes in or out, nice. <laughs> So, as I was saying, before God rudely interrupted my ass, anytime a bee goes in or out of a beehive, it actually creates a observable difference, meaning observers can detect it. Then, as you can see, redstone goes here. This it detects redstone powered and powers the dispenser. Now, since not every time a bee goes in and out actually creates um, honey, or the little honey rim, uh, you would think that this actually wastes a lot of shears durability. But, luckily, if there is nothing the shears can do, and the shears fires, uh, nothing nothing will happen at all. So, it's zero waste. It's uh, a touch noisy every once in a while when the bees go in and out, but bees are already noisy as it is, so pretty simple design. And now, let me explain this bad boy. So, this works on a similar idea to that farm over there, with the dispenser firing into the beehive. The only difference with this one is, instead of dropping the items, uh, when it... Um, used it actually puts the honey bottle back into the dispenser meaning you actually need a way to take it out of the dispenser and into a chest which you know complicates things so over here you actually use another mechanic that i think is pretty cool um the comparators can detect if there's honey inside a hive and if it's full it goes five distance or five blocks of redstone which is why we have five here as you can see so on its way to actually activate the dispenser to get the honey it hits this dropper, which puts a bottle back into the suspenser. Now, the reason you need to actually do this instead of just having a bunch of bottles in here is that um, if you try to filter them out, uh, it could take some bottles with it, or it might not even get the honey at all. And that would create like a very, you know, wasteful cycle where you'd have to come in here, take these out, put them back in here very, very constantly, meaning you need to have way more bottles than, you know, necessary. So with this uh, little design right here, it actually saves a lot of pain and only makes it so each time uh, honey gets taken out. Once it hits five blocks, meaning it has honey inside of the hive, activates this, which powers this right here. This block shoots off this dispenser, which now has the bottle in it from this dropper from before. 
uh, collects the honey. And a little after that, since this is powered, this redstone here gets powered, turning off the torch. So this collects the honey from the bottle and this gets opened, meaning it can take the honey out of the dispenser and put it in here. And then once it goes back around, it will fire another bottle once it gets to about here. And the system will just keep resetting itself and it's, it's pretty efficient. Uh, there is one downside I've noticed, but uh, that there is always one honey bottle in here. But it's not too hard to access. If you ever just want to take it out, you can. But I don't think that's that big of a deal for something this simple. Alright, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you want anything else um, built or any cool ideas, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to build them. And I'll see you in the next one.